Hello, and welcome to the eMedney computer-based training series for New York State Medicaid providers. This video is part of our Medicaid Eligibility Verification Series of Tutorials. We will refer to this Medicaid Eligibility Verification System as its acronym MEVS and the Dispensing Validation System as its acronym DVS going forward in this presentation. The purpose of this session is to familiarize providers with the MEVS DVS Provider Manual, its location, and contents. The MEVS DVS Provider Manual is an important reference tool for providers to interpret the eligibility information they will receive from eMedney. New York State operates a MEVS DVS system as a method for providers to verify member eligibility and obtain certain authorizations. Understanding and properly using MEVS DVS should result in a reduction of pending, rejected, or denied claims and help ensure providers receive payment for services rendered. The MEVS DVS Provider Manual will assist providers in interpreting the results received on an eligibility response. The MEVS DVS Provider Manual is conveniently located online at the eMedney.org website by going to the Provider Manual tab. By going to the Provider Manual tab, you will then select the third option under the drop-down menu stating MEVS and Supplemental Documentation. You will find the current link to the MEVS DVS Provider Manual on the left-hand side of the page as seen here. Once in the manual, providers will find that the Table of Contents is a helpful resource. Each item in the table of contents is a link, and by clicking on that section of the manual, it will take a provider to that section. The first parts of the MEVS DVS Provider Manual supply providers with helpful information about MEVS access methods, the Common Benefit Identification Card, and instructions to the Telephone Verification System, also known as the Audio Response Unit. It is extremely important to refer to the MEVS DVS manual for explanations of the messages and response codes in order to understand if your service will be covered by the member's type of Medicaid coverage. Sections 4 and 5 contain helpful reference tables for providers to assist them in interpreting their responses. We will now look at some of these sections including 4.1 eligibility benefit descriptions, 4.4 exception codes, 4.6 New York City Office Codes, and Section 5 Appendix as examples of helpful sections to providers when interpreting eligibility responses. Section 4.1, Eligibility Benefit Descriptions, will assist providers with determining the meaning of a client's eligibility and what services are covered or non-covered by that description. Since these descriptions sometimes list services that are non-covered, Providers are encouraged to read through these descriptions carefully. As you can see on this example, Appendix Section 5.1 is occasionally referred to for additional eligibility benefit information. Section 4.4, Exception Codes. This section of the MEVS Provider Manual will assist providers with definitions of the two character exception codes they find on an eligibility response. These codes clarify a client's eligibility, often identifying certain programs the client may be enrolled in or services they are eligible to receive. Some exception codes will exempt a patient from the utilization threshold program and Medicaid copay requirements. Section 4.6, New York City Office Codes. When a provider checks a client's eligibility, they may find a county code of 66 or NYC in their demographic information. The corresponding office field will contain a code related to which New York City Human Resource Administration office the client receives eligibility and benefit assistance. For members who originated their coverage through the New York Health Benefit Exchange, an additional three-digit office code, H78, will be displayed in the office field. If a patient received their benefits through the New York Health Benefit Exchange, the patient will need to contact the exchange to have the information updated or corrected. Being able to identify how the patient received their Medicaid eligibility is important for providers to determine who needs to be contacted if there is an issue with a patient's coverage. Section 5 of the MEVS DVS Provider Manual is the appendix section. 
some eligibility benefit descriptions refer the provider to the appendix section in order to further clarify those category of services that are covered or non-covered by that benefit description. Providers would refer to this section of the manual for further clarification on services which would be reimbursed for certain benefits. As you can see in this example, if the eligibility response is community coverage, no long-term care, inpatient hospital services billed with the rate code listed in the description are not covered by Medicaid. In addition to the MEVS DVS provider manual, there is a quick reference guide available to assist providers with checking client eligibility using one method of MEVS, the Telephone Audio Response Unit. As seen here on this slide, providers will find the document located directly under the MEVS DVS provider manual. This guide outlines the instructions for using the ARU and converting letters to numbers for input into a provider's telephone. The MEVS DVS Provider Manual also supplies reference sections for those who are required to obtain a DVS for procedures. The dispensing validation system is used by providers who need to obtain a quick system-generated authorization for certain procedures such as some DME items, some dental services, and therapies. These authorizations occur in real time and a message, certified in total, would be returned if the authorization is approved. Be sure to refer to the procedure code section of your specific provider manual to determine which procedures require a DVS. This concludes our Medicaid eligibility verification system tutorial on the MEVS DVS provider manual. We have reviewed the location and helpful contents of the MEVS DVS provider manual in this presentation and providers are encouraged to explore the manual in more detail. The information in this manual explains the messages returned when verifying New York Medicaid eligibility and requesting a DVS, which can reduce provider claim errors. Thank you and please visit us at www.emedny.org for additional training resources.